I think as individuals our greatest strength right now is getting out there and telling the stories of what's happening in our backyards and so being a messenger for climate change and what we're seeing and observing is incredibly empowering as individuals. This is a white bark pine that has been killed by mountain pine beetles and this is being played out across tens of millions of acres in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. With a warming climate, the mountain pine beetles, which usually stay at lower elevations, are able to flourish at these higher elevations and are basically wiping out the foundation species of this ecosystem. Tree Fight's an organization that we started in Jackson Hole uh, this year that is letting people know what we're losing. And so what we've been doing, what we've been focusing on is getting people into the forest to see for themselves, to really experience uh, these forests. Letting people know what's happening is the first step in trying to look for a solution. So this is a, this is a tree that's showing some telltale signs of mountain pine beetle infestation. We see the, the drying needle, so these, this is dying. This is a dying tree. We now know that 95% of this ecosystem is impacted because this has typically been too cold and too unhospitable for the beetles. But just with the warming we've experienced, it's allowed the beetles to survive and, and thrive. So it's kind of the phase now of going onto the ground like we are here today and documenting the condition right here on the ground. You guys ready for the villain of the story here? But essentially, if we just go and we start to pull up some bark here. Okay, we're gonna look back under the bar, under the bark here, where the story really exists. Because we're gonna see beetles, we're gonna see galleries, we're gonna see exit. See a lot of exit holes right there? Boom, boom, boom. You've got pretty good beetle production. So essentially this tree, what, this, died, this tree, well, he died, what, two years ago maybe? Yeah, or it was two, killed three two, two, three years ago? And this, is, this shows that beetles did really well, which means this was a warm time period for them. They accumulated the thermal units, they took on the, the, the nutrients they needed, and they emerged out of this tree. Global warming, climate change, whatever you want to call it, this is an expression of temperature right here. Everything that we see in this forest is an expression of temperature. This is a climate change issue. And the reason that we have basically begun devoting our lives to this issue is because we feel like given this tree, given the importance of this tree to this place, to the world's first national park, and if this truly is the most important organism in the world's first national park, then we think these trees are national treasures. They should be studied and cared for like the national treasures that they are. The whole point of Tree Fight is to raise awareness of what's happening. And awareness is the first step in us changing what's happening to our climate. In fact, it's the most important step because people have to know what we're losing. And so we're using Facebook, we're using websites, we're using blogs, we're using videos in a way to get people to pay attention to this problem, to connect people all over the world to this place and to this particular symptom of climate change because we are essentially optimistic because we believe that if we do show these incredible places changing before our eyes that maybe we'll get people to make changes in their own lives that will turn this whole problem around. This is a giant landscape which is just one giant landscape in a whole world. And the more that individuals are connecting with their place, the, you know, the, the more opportunity there is for doing something different. Once we care about one place, it's that much easier to be aware and concerned about other places.